Do you feel that um, there was any bias against you when applying to residencies at all or not really? Uh, not so much. Uh, of all the places I applied to, like I had done research beforehand mm -hmm. and I don't think my list would have changed substantially. Um, but I know like, like University of Michigan, for example, is like exclusively MD heavy and probably mm -hmm. some of the bigger research institutions out there and yeah. including like ones in Boston, um, probably UCSF and things. But when I applied, I think having taken like the step exams in addition to Comlex mm -hmm. made it a pretty open, open game. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you feel that's more like I am versus like other specialties? Do you feel like other ones, like maybe subspecialties would be a little bit more challenging to get into? Or do you feel it's pretty even now or in terms of trying to get in even? I feel like it's mostly even, but I think in general, the ones that are most competitive for MD applicants mm -hmm. holds true for DOs like neurosurgery and Durham come to mind. I think those, no matter what applicant yeah. you are, it's going to be almost impossible. Mm -hmm. So I think those fields are definitely have more of a barrier, but all the others I think have relatively evened out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also um, you mentioned that you took uh, step exams in addition to um, Comlex, right? Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that still would be an important thing for uh, maybe like DO students trying to get into competitive programs to do, or is it not really necessary? I think it's necessary. And it was interesting because this, uh, this year was obviously the first year of the DOMD merger as far as residency goes. And mm -hmm. It's interesting because like throughout our four years of medical school, our deans and faculty kept saying like the merger is going to be a very positive uh, thing for DO applicants. It's going to make things much more, um, I guess, equal playing field where mm -hmm. they even encourage you only taking complex and not the step exams. Mm -hmm. But now that we've had like match data just from our school and looking at uh, like what the NRMP published, it sounds like the merger probably hurt DO candidates more so than helped because it seems like um it seems like a lot of applicants kind of fell a little lower on their match rank list because some programs that maybe historically um took mds but now had like dos like entering the field didn't necessarily like take warmly to them so i'd say taking both would like increase your chances of matching at like a traditionally acgme program if that's what you want mm -hmm. 